Hi Aquarius, welcome to your You versus Them Love Tower reading for August. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we're looking at uh, what's going on between you and your person. So I'm looking at your energy, their energy. You'll go here, they'll go there, no matter your circumstance, situation. This is for those who truly want to know if you really don't want anything to do with them or you really don't care. Probably not your style of reading. Just kind of putting that out there. So please don't take it to heart and take it literally if it's not, you know. But hopefully it will be and it will resonate. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. General collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including, oh my goodness, the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch. Oh, I got too many here. I thought I had four. I got way too many. Okay, flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. Could be a reading for you. So welcome in Libra. Ah, uh, Libra. I just did Libra. Aquarius, I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for the support. Like, shares, comments, subscribes. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I do want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. Aquarius. All right, let's see. Let's see what the overall energy is. Well, huh? Well, we do have connection here. Okay, kind of looks like a new connection. You know, maybe you've been dating someone here, making a new connection, or you're about to. So let's see what we have on this side. We have yin and yang and goner. So feeling a really well-balanced energy here and feeling like this is really gonna grow into something here. So let's see what they have. Inner peace and boundaries. Hmm, so Okay, so this person may have no problem setting uh, some boundaries or health. Maybe it's healthy boundaries. Um, so maybe it would, it's with you. Maybe it's with other energies. But um, they could have a little bit of a boundary up. But they also have this energy of inner peace. So, but we do have the connection here. So they do feel a really good connection with you, a peaceful connection. But they may still have a little bit of a boundary up for some reason but let's see where this is going all right aquarius so i'm gonna look at your energy first and see what's going on everything you do need to know aquarius down below pin top comment description box your playlist is down there a list of readings i do here and my uh, backup channel if you do want to sub there if something happens here you'll find me there and feel free to go to the community tab there's always a lot of updates and i do have a poll up there right now about a new reading i'll be doing you can go and vote on that all right Aquarius. So let's see what is going on on your side first. And like I said, you could switch them around if you need to. All right, Aquarius. So let's take a look here. Ace of Swords in reverse. So lacking clarity somewhere. King of Cups. Lacking clarity on hidden emotions and feelings. But there is a connection here. Six of Wands. Feeling like this could be a really good thing because we do have that Goner, which is like almost like the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment, Empress in reverse. But you also are feeling that also but you're also feeling like you're not getting what you worth. What you're worth here. Ten of Wands. A little overwhelmed here. Chariot about how this is moving forward. Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay. Queen of Wands. Definitely is the f the love and the feelings, the emotions, but also a lot of fire, passion, and desire, chemistry, attraction. Knight of Swords. Could be something that happened very, very quickly. So we do have the Cherry and the Knight of Swords. Two very, very fast-moving energies here. So it could be that maybe, you know, you haven't dated for very long. You do have the Three of Cups in reverse. Maybe it went from dating to something a little more serious uh, very quickly. Hermit. You may have decided to retract your energy a little bit here. Temperance and balance things out. Right, let me just, um, oops. Okay, almost knocked the camera over there. Sorry, guys. My cat decided he wanted to go out and... Now everything's kind of... Okay, sorry guys. Sorry, I'll try to edit that out. All right. If not, sorry guys. Okay. All right. 
let's see. Let's get back to it here. I just don't want to knock the camera over here. All right, so I do feel like here, uh, Aquarius, I feel like you retracted your energy here with the Hermit. Until you feel like things are more maybe in balance. I mean, the temperance here is about that soulmate connection, divine alchemy. It's usually about bringing soulmates together at just the right time. Alignment, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light, healing, past life, patience, and balance. So I think you had to go within here until you felt at peace um, before moving this for, uh, forward any further. So I do feel like it did move forward very, very quickly. Maybe it got a little overwhelming, but in a way you're also, I feel like you're not receiving everything you wish to receive. It, it kind of like I'm not getting everything I feel like I deserve or I'm worth because it moved forward so quickly. So there's not a lot of clarity here either because these are the fastest, two fastest energies here with the uh, chariot and the knight of swords. So something happened very quickly. But it could be that you're just hoping for this to be very successful moving forward. All right, so we have Sag, Virgo, Aquarius. That's you actually here with the Knight of Swords. Um, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Pisces. Let's see what's on the top of the deck here for extra clarity. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. That could be about, you know, no longer stalemating here or uh, should we keep investing or not? to a sort of making a big decision four of cups so i feel like there needs to be a lot of decisions made here to alleviate any kind of uncertainty here with the four of cups reverse so the four of cups reverse is knowing exactly what we want reciprocation here in balance four of swords so a lot of healing thinking contemplating about this and then a sincere either uh, apology proposal romantic gesture about how this is going to move forward down the road here with the Three of Wands. And it could be an offer too with the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to be, it could be on your part, you know, if, if you did kind of slow things down, said, look, this moved way too quick. Let's just take a break, a breather. Um, you know, or m maybe they were ready to put up that boundary too, saying, you know, we just move this way too fast. Mm -hmm. and until you each get your own inner peace about the connection here and how it's going to move forward, then I think there can be a coming together, like reconnecting, and then seeing where this is going, uh, moving forward. And my cat decided to come back in. So, all right, I don't want to run him over. Let's, all right. So we do have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, which is fate, destiny, uh, divine energies, things meant to be, moving forward in a positive direction, lock expansion, and the lovers. So I think, you know, even if you did take a little break here and, okay, he's got to make up his opinion here. Um, so it could be a lot of back and forth energy between the two of you where you come together and then you take a little break because it's just been moving so fast. But now it could be that you're feeling like, you know what, I feel like this is a really good connection. It can really move forward, maybe even something long term or more stable and grounded. The world in reverse again can be that stuck energy and if he comes in and out one more time um world in reverse can be that little bit of a stuck energy and a nine of pentacles here is an independent energy but in the end here we have you know a lot of happiness joy and fulfillment here with the sun happiest card in the deck so again i'm getting this back and forth energy of um it being t too intense or moving too fast and then we take a little break but then we come back together it's the same thing over and over again but i mean we do have really great energy here with the wheel and the lovers so and the sun too so let's see we do have sag leo aquarius taurus scorpio here with the wheel all right so i think now you, you could you know like i said very up and down back and forth energy and now maybe you're at the point now where you're like you know what I'm feeling confident that this really could move forward in a positive way. Let's reconnect and, you know, maybe take our time a little bit and see where this can go. All right, because I think when you do come together, it gets very, very intense quickly. And then you're like, okay, this is a little too much. But with that yin and yang, it's finding like the perfect balance on how to like the garner, um, make this more stable and grounded moving forward. If that makes sense. 
Could be some traveling or moving or distance involved too, because we do have the uh, Knight of Swords and the Chariot over here. I mean, it could be on your part. All right, so let's see here what we have on their side for Aquarius. Let's see, what else do we need to know for Aquarius? Let's see. Oh, the Two of Cups, so they feel that connection. Oh, and the Ace of Swords, total clarity here. Wake up call, clarity, the Wheel of Fortune. So there's that stuck energy of things not really moving right now forward. Eight of Pentacles putting in the work. Dedication. Tower, the big wake up change, wake up call change. Uh, epiphany, awakening, revelation, surprise, shock. The star. And this could be happening like right now. Star, again, massive healing. Faith, hope, optimism, balance, wish dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be. It's like they've had a big wake up call that all right, we need to work on this because it feels really divinely guided and meant to be here. Even though the energies get stuck every now and then, they have, I mean, the Ace of Swords, Tower, Double, Awakening, Epiphany, Clarity. Wow, okay. King of Wands is a match to the Queen of Wands right here. Right here. What's in between you is the Wheel of Fortune. Positive movement forward. Fate and Destiny. Hermit. So you both have the Hermit. So repeating cards here. A lot of soul searching. Death. There's a transformation into the new beginning. Page of Cups. So I feel like we did have the Page of Cups I think on the top of your deck. Maybe it was somewhere in your deck. Either the top or the bottom. I don't remember. But um, let's see. Was it in the... might have been on the top. I think it was on the top. So maybe they haven't come made uh, a move yet here to either apologize or reconnect or sincere sincere loving gesture proposal whatever here eight of cups so there's that kind of like on a break queen of cups but there are love and emotions here so the queen and the king not quite on the same page yet as far as love emotions and feelings but like i said the attraction the power the fire uh the chemistry is definitely here as well so let's see, we do have here uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, you're right there with the star, so they're definitely thinking of you. Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So the wheel and the wheel, so the wheel's twice here as well. This is going to be about getting on the same page and moving forward uh, as well and to stop this cycle of in and out and... You know, it, it gets too intense, too fast, and then we kind of take a break. So it's kind of like needing to find the perfect balance, which I think is going to happen here. Because you do have the yin, yin and yang up there. And maybe they need to set some boundaries about being too in and out or fast and furious. And maybe they withdraw because we do have the hermit here. So maybe it's about them lifting those boundaries a little bit or having those personal boundaries within themselves to say, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to repeat that pattern. That could be the wake-up call as well. So let's see what we have on the top of their deck here. Knight of Wands. So there could be withholding the passion just a little bit, focusing more on love and emotions, Queen of Swords. So maybe there hasn't been a lot of truth and clarity um, on their part either, which needs to happen. But a lot of thinking, healing, contemplating here. Eight of Swords being a little stuck in, the, in their mind. But the High Priestess is about coming out of that stuck energy. Big revelations, communication. But, you know, maybe fears, desires, how this is going to move forward. Yeah, alleviating confusion as well. So I think communication here is going to be key. And they kind of know that here to alleviate any confusion uh, and fears. Let's see. Page of Wands could be about good news. Well, there's a King of Cups. So you both have the King of Cups. There's that love and connection here. And the communication, the good news. Chariot, you both got the Chariot. Again, moving this forward. Ace of Wands, the exciting new beginning, the passion, the chemistry. But it's focusing more on stability, foundation, and not just chemistry and passion if we really want this to be successful, because we do have the Six of Wands reversed. And again, I think the passion and the chemistry gets a little too overwhelming as well. Do we have the Empress here? 
which you have the Empress in reverse. So I think they know they need to move this beyond the current situation here and give you what you truly desire because they, they know as well as you do there's a lot lacking here. But then we got the Ten of Pentacles here, uh, Ten of Cups, which is also on your side. So, wow. All right, so we do have uh, Sag here as well on their side. So this could be happening any time where they may be coming together and saying, okay, we need to talk about the cycle we keep repeating with each other and talking about our feelings, emotions, our fears, our desires, what we want moving forward, like reconnecting. And then I see like a lot of sharing, a lot of great ideas, uh, communication, being excited for the future, choosing that Ace of Wands together and this Wheel of Fortune moving it forward. So... Wow. Actually, you both have the Ace of Swords. I just noticed that. Theirs is upright. Yours is reversed. So I feel like they know they have to bring a lot more clarity um, to the situation as well. Wow. Okay. It's going to be happening like any time now. All right. Aquarius. So let's see what this deck has to offer. Advice, guidance, or more information. So if this did uh, resonate, Aquarius, or you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly, truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need to know is on you. My cat's going out again. All right. He's driving me nuts. All right. Anyway, so let's see what else we need to know here for Aquarius. Reflect on your truth. Yes, yeah, so a lot of truth needs to be spoken here. What else? Shine your light. So a lot of light and enlightenment and truth and clarity. So we can build on solid ground. Wow. Okay. What else? And expressing our joy, our happiness, where we're truly feeling about each other. Reevaluate your priorities. So maybe making more time for each other as well. And not judging each other too is important. All right. So let's see. Laugh at your demons. So whatever was troubling this, it's about putting it behind us and just kind of like, yeah, well, we're not going to let that affect our future as well. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.